Hello and welcome to Crusader Kings 3, the Viking Raiders. We are playing, or okay, we are going to play as Uber Ragnarsson, who has was a pain in our last series. Um, I did say last time I might play in uh, the Byzantine Empire with a new update. Uh, I am going to do that, but I'm going to do that as Uber Ragnarsson. So we are landless, we're an adventurer with the... Uh, I believe it's a mercenary company? Uh, the Scourge of the Saxons. We are going to hopefully travel across Europe and end up in the Byzantine Empire. And maybe do something with that. Maybe. Let's go. The roads we walk, the path ahead stretches on and on, a lonely winding thread twinning towards the distant horizon. My camp is quiet. Just a few scattered tents and pack animals. Strangers and hangers on. Uh, with the day preparing for their morning chores. With reluctance, most of the miscellaneous chaff that fit in and out of a group. A few faces catch my eyes. Catch my eye as ones I recognize at least in more than a passing. This is an arm. This will be an army someday. Uh, no fees in the night, even. At least I caught some good scrape scrappers. I have taken no worthy followers yet. Okay. So we can go prowess. Or army. Marshal. So what are our skills? We've got 14 in Marshall, so we're fairly good. 12 in Prowess. Uh, we are a Viking. We're a Raider. Uh, we're cautious. We're a hunter. A tough soldier. But arbitrary, impatient, and brave. Um, Here, yeah, I think Prowess? Let's go with that. Okay, so no player error. Lifestyle chosen, we've got Marshall. Uh, we're going for Valor. I know all of these are different uh, as a landless character. Uh, so we've got Strategist here. Which gives us Cassus Belly. Uh, our troops are improved. We do have to worry about provisions now. Uh, fairly good for sieging, good. And we want Strategist. Okay. Uh, camp purpose. Camp purpose. We are wanderers. Become swords for hire. Become scholars. Become explorers or become freebooters. Uh, criminal contracts of all kinds. Finds more prowess and intrigue contracts. Unlocks camp upgrades. Oh. Uh, can access certain special officers. Master Thief, Man Hagler, Master of Spoils. <clears throat> uh, I think the term is this. You must have a pressed claim. Oh, this is like an adventurer who's trying to reclaim a kingdom or something. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go for Swords for Hire. Which make it cheaper to embark. Uh, we find more mercenary contracts with prowess and military. Uh, and we get some military uh, things. Military upgrade stuff. So yeah, we are swords for hire. Oh, that's cool. Gives my shield and everything. I am going to change the house name slightly. I'm just going to change it to Uber. We're just going to have it like that. So we are Uber of House Uber. And our siblings will hopefully be Viking kings. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we are in line. We are fourth in line for a bunch of stuff. We're not going to inherit anything. Move camp. For new contracts, Scourge of Saxon camp moves to 
Why would we move there? Can I not like decide where to move? Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, I can move camp. Oh, so can I just move directly into the Byzantine Empire? Another thing I can do, can I just move directly here to Constantinople? Yes, I can, but oh, that's going to be it. Yeah. <laughs> that's going to be a long travel. Apparently it's only going to take 13 months. It's going to take us just over a year to get that far. I don't think we'll be doing that. I think we'll be worrying about stuff here first. Um, we can have 11 champions. Mercenaries. So how do we get troops? So we have no soldiers at the minute. There's some contracts available. Potential alliances. Hmm. Decisions? And contracts. View castle holding. Explore the local castle holding. The opportunity to listen to exotic stories and recruit followers. Train with the North Elite Guard and recruit more like... Okay, gather provisions. Reject inheritance. Galavanda. Uh, response... Oh, so we just completely give up our entitlements. That's cool. Converting to local culture, personal deities. I've travelled far and wide, been to places strange and outlandish. Outlandish. So to visit, twenty-six points of interest. Or. Oh. 20, 42 points of interest. 60. Okay. Champion of the Swan. Champion of the Norse culture. I get a claim on things. Okay. This is a way we can gain territory. Become a great conqueror. There's lots of ways for us to change how this works. Change our, how our thing here works. So, go fishing, explore schemes. So we need to figure out a way of grabbing a contract here. Protect the innocent. Protect the weak. The hardworking folk of Lancashire uh, in need of help, the Earl offers kind rewards to adventurers. We'll pay us 92 gold. Increase our opinion. We gain some provisions. Uh, adds us to our... Adds him to our role of patrons. We make progress to the champion of swan decision. Okay. Exceptional success. We'll give us a bit more gold. Uh, let's travel there then. Uh, do we have a Canvary Master? Uh, you're not great, but you'll do. That'll do. Let's go. So we're going to accept a bunch of contracts and work our way towards the Byzantine Empire. Mountains out of molehills. The road has gotten incredibly hilly the past few hours and everybody is beginning to work... Beginning to weary. Uh, after a after a while longer, with no end of the hill in sight, one of my travelling companions approached me and says, My lord, our mounts cannot carry on like this for much longer. The poor animals need a break or I'll fear the collapse. Uh, he's right. Yeah, we, do, we can rest. We don't need to rush. There we go. Protect the innocent. Animals. Thugs. Ruffians. The mere thought seems to be enough to disturb the Earl. The common people of the Earldom are so agitated I fear they may rise in arms any moment now. Those with young families have been rebuking my officers, officers asking why we have not protected them. Hmm.
balanced. Uh, this option adds agent slots that focus on higher scheme link. Uh, we must ensure their safety. Okay, so we are doing this via intrigue. Muscle. Which gives us forty-seven percent chance. Look out thug muscle. Let's go for thug. Wait, would you be better somewhere else, I wonder? Uh no, you do oh worst well, thing, no no no. Scheme potential. Scheme length. Okay, so we shall put you there. Countermeasures. We have no countermeasures, that's fine. Auto invite. No, I'm gonna turn that off. That dynasty head has changed, that's fine, we don't need to worry about that. So, we have a 69% chance of succeeding here. Ruin rambling. Scouting out ahead of the camp, I came across a ramshackle collection of traders. They have gathered some large but old ruined buildings. Uh, their wares are fairly standard. Uh, check my purchases, yet my eye is drawn towards the grey pockmarked walls of the ruin. The merchants occupy merely the outskirts, but this is... Okay. So we can gain some proof provisions or we can go and explore I shall explore we found a dusty weapon a fine sword extra prowess shall we take that nice All right now we're just, we're just waiting for this to fire ah okay so it goes to the next phase Okay, so we need advantages. Seize the moment, execute with confidence. Leave adventurers. Advantages. Cover every angle. So we want as many advantages as possible then. So this system is very new. I, I quite like this. You try to do something with it rather than just waiting for it. Um. A figure stumbles into camp, tired, d dirty and tired, clearly in need of a square meal. Uh, okay, there are more like me, he gestures off to the distance. All of us left are to rot after every petty conflict ends. Our sword arms work as well as ever, but our loot, our lot is to wander and starve. We're the only ones left who won't. Who wouldn't ro <coughs> wouldn't rob the valuable, the vulnerable for food and valuables? Okay. Um, I lose some resources, friend, to old soldiers. All right, and gain a champion. I will gain a champion. Oh, that's right, we're not head of the dynasty, so we don't get to choose any of our uh, perks here. We have Wonderless, which gives us bonus troops when adventuring. Not going to complain. Uh, I don't think we're being unreasonable, Snarks the Cook, who presumably drew the short straw on coming to speak to me, <laughs> waving an arm dismissively at the surrounding terrain all the while. There's plenty of farms here, even if they're not great ones. It cannot be hard for us to pause briefly and stock up on some of the little luxuries that make our food bearable. I sigh, weary of the conversation already. I wonder which of the which of us break first. Yes, our provisions are perhaps a bit below where I'd like them to be. But there's little cause for such alarm. Is it below where we want it to be? I mean, we're fairly good. Um, it's not on the budget. 
Yes. Tourette. Okay. Oh, learning from the best. Two of my agents seem to have found common cause in our plan beyond the basic goal. Impressed by their... His compatriots... Compatriots? Impressed by his compatriots' compatriot skill. <laughs> okay. With wits, brawn, and physical conditioning required to protect the innocent. <clears throat> Harmless enough in theory, but it doesn't help overall goal. Um... Mm. So he'll gain some martial. Put the energy into the plan, you fool. Focus on the goal. Or I gain some... Yeah, I want to gain the, the lifestyle experience. And then I can just grab that. There we go. So the success chance... Oh, it's very weird. So we've got eight there now. Uh, unfamiliar rations. The culture uh, is unfamiliar to me and some of their customs equally alien. This is proven especially true. Uh, and acting out... When acting out as our cook for the evening, beckons me over to look at the stewing pot. It's a local recipe, he begins. Supposedly authentically Anglo-Saxon, I was assured by, the pa by a passing merchant. I look at the substance with suspicion. Is that stewed bowl with turnips? <laughs> uh, so we can try it, get new tastes. Give us some extra prowess for 10 years, that'd be quite nice. Oh, okay, and the nickname of the narrow minded. I'll give it a try. It's delicious. Studious scheming. Uh, it's currently a, an asset to my contract, providing skill, wisdom, and guidance as best as he can at every turn. Mo more, bleh, most recently, that's meant often. Offering to help shoot me in a effort to improve our overall chances. I accept. Even more prowess. Nice. Okay, so we should be able to execute. Actually, let's wait for the next one. So we get. A, we're on nine advantages. We want ten. Oh. Scheme ended. What did? What happened? Oh, he no longer owns it. Okay, great. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, ambush travelers. We can do that. Let's go some ambush from travelers, but not too, too, too concerned about being criminals. Uh, by robbers, outlaws, and wanderers of all kinds. Proficient fighters I sought. Urgently directable dealings to the earl. Your gold, uh, gold earned depends entirely on which travellers you meet and mug on the road. <laughs> you might meet some exorbitantly wealthy dukes or impoverished pilgrimage. Okay. Um, potential failures. Let's do it. Praying on travellers. Um, he's lost our game. My band and I have already begun scouting out the busiest back roads to begin laying ambushes. It seems the most natural route to harass uh, the roads. We'll rob those merchants and travellers blind and flee into the night as quickly as we came. Uh, you travel without your domicile. This is faster and does not require spent provisions, but you will have to make a return trip. Uh, no, we will travel with everything. Okay, where are we going? Oh, we're going way down there. At eyes in the night. Morning brings a report that a man-eating beast has struck again. Another life vanished without a trace, save the slight drag marks and a few flickle, flecks of blood. Uh, sentries can't get a look at the damn thing. I 
cast my eyes into the carpet of hills. Well, we weave through each, breaking every sight to the opposite. Okay, so we're, we're dealing with something eating our people. I should take its head. Uh, we lose stress because we're a hunter and brave. That guy dies. Oh, I think he dies either way. Um, yeah, we're going to take it head. Take its head. Eyes in the night, cannibal. We can't afford to wait another night to outrun the thing. Gathering my hunting party, I intend to end this, and to do so this very morning. The beast tracks are whisper light and unidentifiable. As though deliberately disguised, after nearly an hour we crest the rise of a tall hill where the footprints seem simply seem to vanish. You were the first, you know. Draws an unfamiliar voice from behind. We found we find a man with blood matted hair and chunks of raw flesh in his teeth. My first taste and what a taste it was, but you you will be a banquet. Weapon in hand, the cannibal launches himself at me. To duel to the death. Oh, it's the guy that died. Here's the cannibal. Uh, and I stalk around each other. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, faint and stab. You gain knife to the hand. Uh, increase the abstract. Take this, you fool. We'll use our Viking Raider skill. He thinks I need to make an example of you. And again, fool, take this. Uh, we... mm, taste the worth of tear. And we have won. Yeah, kind of hard to go through the whole uh, series of events. It's much easier just to try and figure it out at the end. Uh, victorious duel. The cannibal's body topples backwards. Blood first. Spurting, then trickling from his fatal wounds. Not the outcome I expected, to be sure, but the world cannot say that I have not slain a man-eater all the same. As the fight's tension drains my body, a core chorus of cheers goes up from the rest of the hunting party. I take one last look at the man lying down on the floor and turn for home. Nice. Praying on travellers. Reeve Godwin. This morning we sight a distant train of people. At their front is Reeve Godwin. At least according to my scouts leading the rest along their winding way. Him at the head, the group obviously has some wealth, but not exactly overflowing with coin. Still a worthwhile, worthwhile quarry. Should we be so inclined? Uh, how much gold does he have? Ooh, not a lot. Personally. Um, so we can charge them. It's a 50-50 chance of them pay paying us. Surround them. Hold will attack after nightfall. 24, 25 after that one. Hmm, let's surround them. Slightly better chances. Outmaneuvered, they surrender. 50 gold, yes. My liege, have you heard what they call you? My caravan master says to me, while folding his arms. They call you Captain Uber the Lion. Spectacular, is it not? It's on the lips of peasants and noble alike. A cause for celebration, I think. Yeah, that's not a bad name. Uh, Wolfhelm. So this is somebody else for charging. Uh, yeah, we go with the surround. It's a slightly better chance. Did that one fail or succeed? Hang on. He escapes. Damn it. Surround them. He pays us. Nice. Started holding a grudge. Oh, God. Uh, sickness in the herd. There's no two ways about it. Whether, 
Weather from weather, terrain, overloading or simple bad luck. Some melee has gotten into the camps. Pack animals. Uh, surely we can treat them. That's a 95% chance to fail. We can redistribute our gear until they recover. Carry on and pray to ear for mercy. I will redistribute. That's not the best chance. Disease spreads through the herd. And... Okay, so travel speed has been decreased. Praying on traveler's success. Scheme successful. Who says travel is harsh, difficult and dangerous? From the point of view of the scourge of the Saxons, it seems a rather easy, fairly profitable endeavor. With our saddlebags weighed down by coin, we gladly, if suspiciously, arrive in Middlesex Assus. Spirits high and our purses fat. Let us simply hope that none of our victims catch up before we leave. Roads truly are the wellspring of all wealth. We've got a hundred gold. That's not bad. So, we started a mercenary company and we have already become bandits. <laughs> uh, what kind of benefits? So we lose legitimacy, which I don't think is a major issue. Um... General opinion goes down. Uh, Marshall goes up. And dread. Uh, prestige go per dread. Okay. Marauder, it's prowess. Okay, so we're, we're probably going to have a bunch of bandit and marauder stuff in here. Uh... Well, that's the point. We should probably get a wife. Hmm, that could be awkward, though. Uh, ambush travelers. Contracts available. Hunt criminals. Hired muscle. See, we have three troops. I'm just wondering how we actually get, like, levies. Or minute arms or something. Oh, we can create them. Oh, okay. Okay, we just spent some gold. Okay, that's fine. Uh, these veterans are quite powerful, especially against spearmen and heavy cavalry. Um, Huskars are extremely powerful as well. Hmm. I will hire some Huskars. So this is how we gain troops. Uh, adventurers lack the reliable manpower sources of landed rulers and must mutually reinforce to fill. Uh, manually reinforce. Okay, so we have to manually reinforce. We could do that with provisions. Okay, so we now have 100 troops. Okay, so we can accept this more. Uh, contracts that require those, maybe. Uh, we can gather. Okay, I, I quite like this. This is good. Hmm. So we do need to make our way over to Europe here, so we shall do that. We're going to move here. It's not too bad traveling wise. Start moving. Uh, so we've already become bandits. Let's see if we can become raiders. Uh, it's night when the adventurers... Uh, attackers fall on our perimeter. A motley flash of glinting armor and flashing weapons lit only by distant firelight. Uh, if they're wearing any colors, then they're not visible. But their intent is clear. All the same. Remove us. Dead or alive. The camp is not without defenders, though, and with a cry of outrage, we prepare to push back the local scourge. Ooh. Uh. Counterattack, there's a 40% chance we win. We are bloody and broken. Okay. That's fine, we're leaving anyway. That's a point, we do need to visit a bunch of those. Uh, points of interest. 
Okay. We do have a contract here to protect the innocent. We'll take that. We'll take anything that will pay us, I believe. It's the choice we need to make. So now, can I raise... So I can raise troops. But I don't think I can raise them as raiders. It's the thing. Hmm. Now, we'll figure that out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.